Hello everyone. Welcome back to Waterworld. Day 4. So with that great find of clay, I went ahead and made four bowls, a cooking pot, crucible, watering can, because I probably will just be after watering the crops that I grow, and a storage vessel, which once I made these, I was like, that's all I need, right? I was like, no, you need a storage vessel. So it's a good thing that I remembered that. Uh, I also made some cordage, which I will need two more sticks, and then I can make a fishing trap. So let's get out here. Get our pit kilns going, which I'll probably need to hit that tree, because I don't really want to go over to that island ever again until I get armor and weapons and all that. Um, just gotta leave the hoe here. Probably should have left it here in the last episode, but oh well. What is that? Is that a crab? No, that's just a spider. Well, let's go ahead and dig out some holes really quick. I didn't know that vo um, voids can spawn in the water. If they didn't, they do now. Or at least in whatever mods I got installed. Let's do... do it like this. I'm going to place the block on top, that way the rain won't block, uh, put it out. I don't know why I'm using the sand for it, but... I can all take away the sand completely. I can always get it back. Let's go ahead and throw in these. I think this has to have its own. I think this can go, yeah, this will be able to go with the cooking pot. Probably just do two bowls for now. I probably don't need, I'll leave it open, but I don't think I'll need all four bowls for now. I think I mostly just made them so that way when I get lumps of fat I can make the lanterns with them. Or not lanterns, the oil lamps. But I need to start killing some stuff for that. So now I need 10, 20, 30, 30 things of grass and way too many sticks. Pretty sure this is gonna break this knife. Yep. Knife. And I did just remember that I'm probably gonna have to go visit one of the other islands for the trees because I don't want to cut this one down because of the sap on it. I guess I'll make a, a arrowhead or a spearhead. That's the knife. There we go. I guess I get a spear now that I can make. Oh well. 
Shouldn't really complain, but I didn't want to waste the flint if I didn't need to. Alright. How much grass do we got? 14. Yeah, I can dig up some of that. I probably should plant the seeds, which I think I'm going to plant them on the roof since I made the rest of it uh, packed dirt I'll plant it on the roof so that way I don't got to worry about rabbits spawning up there and then once the rest of these grow I can go ahead and start making some more Portage. Get some more fish traps going. I probably should get a snare trap as well. Because I know rabbits do spawn on this island. And then I can use the meat for the fish. Until these start growing. Which I still haven't figured out if these are completely dead or not. Once I get the watering can, I'll water them and see what what's going on. Get these in here. but I can I guess yeah one too many might as well make a cool looking hat there we go got my farming hat going uh, might as well grab some berries Get the. I want to get up on the roof, plant these really quick, and then get some sticks and berries. Oh, I need one more. And I'll have to check that pond and see if there's any fish in there. And of course, I put the hoe inside. gives me one more cordage that I can use to make a snare with once I get some nice crabs once I get some sticks to carve steaks with yeah those guys hit me back I don't really want to die to some crabs Not a wolf or a fox. I think it's just a fox. No fish. Of course not. I 
don't think any of the barriers are ready yet. Or any of the mushrooms have regrown. But I'm definitely starting to run low on food. Those aren't ripe. Empty. These grow yet? Empty. They're all empty. Okay. I think I'm just gonna have to try killing a rabbit, maybe. If I can catch one. There's these foxes as well. Hits with the spear it takes to kill a crab. Oh, fish. Okay, let's get lucky. Need some fish. Nope. Come on, just one piece at least. There we go. Alright, let's try to get some sticks. I need at least three more now. get a fishing trap set up and start getting some fish that'll definitely get me going Size fish trap first, then pit kilns. Because once I can start getting some form of food coming in, then I think I should focus on the storage and all that. Yeah, there should be enough for one trap or one fish trap but the problem with that is I have to bait it with something or at least I think you have to bait it if you want to increase the chance of catching something is any of this grown yet Can't eat grass. Dead rabbit. There we go. Well, at least I get some meat.
eventually be nice to get to the point, who nice bears, get to the point where I can just hunt some wolves because I do know some islands that spawn wolves and then just use that for a source of food. But I don't think they respawn enough to where I can just rely solely on that. And then use the the leather for backpacks. Which I don't think we have an oak tree anywhere near us yet. Or I probably just didn't pay attention to it enough. Okay, so fishing trap. I believe it's that. Nope. That's on us. Add it backwards. There we go. Fishing basket. And then I need to use a stick with a knife to get a steak and then no, just all three together and that with the steak for a snare Let's place the snare over here. Right here is probably good enough. Place it in soft ground to catch animals. Bait is so it's more effective. So let's just not put any bait in it for now because I don't think that is as good as the fishing basket once I start getting more food I can put bait in it and then this needs to be placed in the water with no or water on all open sides. While that's going, let's cook up this meat. Oh, reset my torch first. Get all this crap out of there. I don't know if two things of wood will do it. Let's see if I get these eagle ferns or whatever they're called out here. Because I know these things burn. I don't know if they will be enough to cook meat though. We'll use them while I got them. I think that's all of them. I don't know if you can burn cow parsley. Yep, it burns. It's not a flower I usually like to use anyway, so we'll set it on fire. And I know I can cook these cattails, but I'd rather save them for rope and stuff. I 
see how fast this stuff burns. And hopefully these two pieces of meat can get me going for the rest of today. So I can save this rye for the traps. And then hopefully we get lucky with the trap. The thing I like about the, the trap that I've seen is that as long as you keep it baited, keep watching it, fish can just keep spawning into it. Not wasting fuel. Burn the grass. flower too. Do feathers burn? Yep, feathers burn too. Alright, so I can use feathers as well. But that'll cook all that. There is a fishing rod that you can build, but it's all my bait. But it's kind of weird to use, and I think the mod hasn't been fully updated yet so that you can use the wooden one. Yeah, I don't think you can actually build this in the mod yet or it's broken but that's it's a lot of rope so I can wait because if I build quite a few of these and have enough to bait them that should get me going for a while I should get a way to where this is actually inside the house Stop stealing my damn food. So I'm not going to bait it anymore. So far it's just stealing my bait. Let's go see how this other trap's doing. Yeah, once I get enough traps set up and the fishing line but I need hooks for that and I think you can make them out of bone but uh, it just takes one bone so I got three hooks right there but I think those ones you definitely need to bait We'll try those next. Once we get. Cause I think I just need one thing of cordage for that. I wonder if I can bait grass in there. Nope. But grass does burn, so. Might as well get some of that. Since right now, this is my most renewable resource. And I think I should probably try to get some seeds from over there. Alright, we'll let that go. I'll try to get some more seeds. I wonder if that's salt water. Because if it isn't, then I can just get the watering can from there instead of the little pond over here. Those are almost gone. 
Those are almost grown. I think these turnips aren't fully grown yet. Nope. Alright, well at least we still have access to onions, turnips. I think this flax. Nope, more rye. So we still have access to plants, and there is berry bushes still here, so... It's not like I have no access to food, it's just food's starting to get a little low now. Too bad I can't just go out there and get the, the seaweed and cook that up. But that's not... I think there's probably mods for that, but... That's not something in this base, in the base game, or any of the mods that I have installed. Actually, I think the fishing mod allows me to get seaweed from fishing. But I don't know if you can cook it. If I get at least one seed from this. I need more sticks. Yeah, I think that'll do it for now. I'll slowly keep coming back and cutting all these branches down. seeds. Might as well take the resin. Start heading back. Hopefully our trap caught something. kind of want to fight some of these wolves and rabbits just for more meat. And I wonder if I should dig out a little rabbit catching pit. Maybe one of these days I will. But I kind of think that's the, the point of something like this. I want this one to probably be the one to get cooked first so I can get the pot and the bowls okay last thing of, of rye hopefully that catches me something And unless I get attacked, I will probably just watch this for the entire night. Hopefully I get lucky and catch at least one fish. But that is where I will end it for day four. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in day five.